What's up guys, it's your boy The Bad Wolf. All right, so this particular video is going to be about the title Enumeration at Birth Process. Okay, this is gonna come directly from the Social Security website, uh, Program Operations Manual System, or POMS, okay? So what is enumeration? Enumeration at birth, EAB, is a program that allows parents to complete the application for the SSN for their newborns as part of the hospital birth registration process. Now we all know what registration means, okay? It means you're being brought under or into something. About 99% of social security numbers for infants are assigned through the EAB process, all 50 states plus the jurisdictions of New York City. It's interesting how they keep singling out New York City. It's almost like it's the capital of the world. Uh, The District of Columbia. Why, why, why are they separate? Why? It's like there's the only time you separate things. Why are you gonna say all fifty states? Shouldn't it be all encumbering or all encompassing? New York City is singled out. The District of Columbia is singled out. Oh, we know why District of yeah, we know why that one is. And Puerto Rico. But just so you know, what are they saying here? Participate in the EAB. All right. I'm not going to read you through the whole process. This basically says infant is a child. Look up the word child. Look up the word parent. Pair of rents. Renting. The first year of life. Okay. Lag period. Blah, blah, blah. So what is what is the enumeration? Well, enumeration, numerate, and enumeration, that means to number something. So you're getting your number. Papers. Head of papers, okay? Something's being numbered. You're being numbered. You're receiving a number. You are a number and you're receiving a number. It also means to become a, because what, what, let's, let's look at it. So this is for the social security card, right? And we all know that's associated with the social security number, which is associated with paying taxes, okay? So they're saying, Since you're a baby, you're going to be enumerated. You're going to get a number, and you're going to be converted into a taxable entity. I mean, we, we all are, right? We're all U.S. citizens, so pay your fair share and all that good jazz, right? It's not like these other places have other jobs and things that they do or have access to the Sesta K Trust to be able to pay us our money. I am so glad this is entertainment education, like all of my videos on YouTube and offline and everything else and all consultations. All right, so this is called breaking through the fifth wall. Look it up if you don't know what that term means. I'm on the seventh. Most of you guys are probably on the third. But we'll get you to the fifth. One or two, we'll see you at the seventh. All right, so as we scroll down here, all parents applying for Social Security number at part of the birth registration process receive form SSA 2853. Message from Social Security, which serves as a receipt for the Social Security application via the EAB. State vital record agencies transmit the EAB records to the SSA for enumeration of infants born in the past 12 months. Note, EAB is voluntary for parents and hospitals. But why do the hospitals do it? Because somebody's getting paid. <laughs> the low-level people don't know this stuff. Do-da, do-da. I hope there's not a copyright on that song. Um. <laughs> All right, uh, so, but... It is voluntary. So you're telling me the process of numbering your child or at least bringing them into the system and converting them into a taxable entity is voluntary. Entertainment purposes only. Brought to you by the Bad Wolf. I assume no responsibility or liability for anything that you've done or see here. Please see a qualified profession if you would like to have more advice or information concerning the subject matter at hand. I recommend the Department of State or the IRS or the Social Security Administration because those guys are working hard for you.
Thank you guys for all of your hard, diligent work. We appreciate you. And we know you guys all watch these videos. So have a good day. Much obliged. Thank you. Hugs. Love. So, there you go. State Vital Records Agency. They are all working together to provide you with this service. Should you choose to utilize it, it is there. So they're basically telling us we have options to not utilize their services, to not be enumerated or experience enumeration. Despite what people might push you or urge you to get a birth certificate issued from the state or a social security number. But Wolf, if I don't get a social security number, is there anything else we could use? Let me think. Well, I'm not licensed. And I'm not a liar, lawyer. I'm not an attorney. So I don't know. It's education. I know what I would do. Exercise my religious freedom to not sign certain things if I didn't feel comfortable with them. And seeing how hypothetically, if a social security number and then there's a EIN as a business, but they issue the social security number and the EIN can, is interchangeable with the social security number. They can be used any place where the other one is used. The state transmutes our name and gives us this business trust, all caps name, the straw man, with a enumeration number. If I were to get an EIN, which seems like it would be the same thing, but file this as a nonprofit or a church or a faith-based organization or an unincorporated association or some other non-taxable entity, use my same name for the, as the business name, like the DBA, doing business as, same thing. I think those things would be indistinguishable. Hmm. Now, sure, there might be a couple of small things that are different in there. Maybe certain benefits and privileges do come with this. But there's also some protections that come with this. So before doing anything, always vet the information and see what's good for you. This is These are just my experiences. My life will never be the same. I'll see you guys later.